Today we're going to be working on a Cummins ISX ECM and the customer that sent it in for repair is stating that they're having issues with the throttle as well as the truck randomly shutting off. So one of the things we're going to be doing is reballing one of the processors inside of this unit, but first we need to open it up. So let's get started. I'm going to be using our toolkit, which I do have available for sale on our website. We'll have a link in the video description down below and we're going to be using the T15 tip. So we're going to be flipping the unit over to the back side and we're going to take all the screws out over here. So actually it looks like we have some grunge inside the screw holes that we need to clean out first. That's one way to make it so that it's harder to remove is you put your silicone inside the screw holes so that you can't fit a tool in there. Next, we're gonna be cutting some of the gasket that is on the edges here, and that'll make it a little bit easier for us to open this. I'm using an X-Acto blade. So some of this gasket is essentially kind of acting as glue, holding this lid down. So I'm just trying to get it out using my tweezer here. Next, we're going to be using these tools, which have no thread on the end, and they do have threads over here. So the non-threaded part will go in the screw hole, and the threaded part will go in the top layer of the cover, and it will start threading it and pushing it away from the ECM. So when we're doing this, we're going to want to put a lot of downward pressure as we're screwing it in. All right, so we have loosened up the top enough so that I can get my hands in there. Now, before I open it and put a lot of physical pressure, I actually like to have it face down and then with one of my hands, put pressure downward to keep that bottom lid flush with the table. And then we're gonna slowly open it up. And that's to prevent having too much bending and warping happening here because as you can tell, there's a circuit board. So if I bend this lid, I'm also bending and possibly damaging this circuit board down here. So that's why we wanna keep it as flat and flush as we can as we open it up. Now that we have it open, I want us to take a closer look at this processor here in question. This is the processor that we're going to be removing and reballing. So what that means is this processor is connected to this PCB below it via a ball grid array. And those solder balls can over time crack and prevent the flow of data going from the processor to the rest of the unit. So to do that, we're gonna remove a little bit more of the gasket here and that should be enough. Now to remove this chip because it is on a ball grid array, we are going to have to heat up the bottom of the PCB as well as the top at the same time until we reach that solder's melting point. So to do that, we need to use our rework machine.
The processor is back on the board. We're gonna go ahead and prep the unit for new gasket. So I'm gonna remove a little bit of the old stuff. We're gonna install our new gasket maker from Permatex. We're gonna go ahead and put the lid facing down and I'm gonna push down. There we go. Now we can go ahead and put in our screws. All right, and it looks like we do have a little bit of that gasket oozing out, so we'll go ahead and wipe that off. This does complete our repairs of this ECM. We're gonna go ahead and pass it over to the mechanic at the truck shop next door, and they're gonna do the final testing. If you did find the video helpful or useful, make sure to leave us a like, subscribe for more content, and thank you for watching.